Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic interfaces in Java program. So let us understand what is interface, how to write an interface and how to work with interface. Okay, right. So interface is pure abstract class. So pure abstract class means it is incomplete class. It is pure incomplete class. So pure incomplete class. So the definition goes like this interface is a pure abstract class. It is a pure abstract class which contains all the methods as abstract methods. So all the methods in interface are abstract methods. Okay. That is it contains all incomplete methods. Okay. So how to define an interface? So how to define an interface? So the syntax goes like this. Interface is the keyword. Used. So interface is the keyword use. Example goes like this. Interface followed by interface name. Something like A. And then body of the interface. So here we can have data members. Okay. And then all abstract methods. So this is what is all about interface. How to define an interface? It is a pure abstract class. Okay. Right. So interface is also a class. So when we compile program, we get a dot class by code file. So interface is also a class, but it is a pure abstract class. So we have some important points related to the interface. The points goes like this. First one interface is the keyword used to define an interface. Next in interface. Okay. All methods are abstract methods. Okay, abstract means incomplete methods. Right. Next, all data members in interface are public, static, final data members by default. So if you don't give public static final also they will become static public static final data members. Okay. So hence all data members initial value is compulsory. Okay. Otherwise we get errors. Okay. So in interface all data members compulsory we have to give the initial value because they are public static final. So final means fixed value. So initial value is compulsory. Otherwise we'll get an error. Okay. Next all abstract methods in interface are public methods by default. If you give or not. Okay. They are automatically public methods and in interface abstract keyword is not compulsory for abstract methods. 
so abstract keyword is not compulsory for abstract methods by default they are abstract methods only okay so these are some important technical points which are supposed to be remembered for writing an interface in a java program then finally how to use interface so how to make use of interface in program okay right so interface is pure abstract class okay it is pure abstract class so abstract class means incomplete class okay hence interface object cannot be created okay so example for example let us say that we have interface if you try to create an object of interface we'll get the error okay we'll get the error for this okay then how to use interface okay so to make use of interface we perform inheritance that is subclass so we have to make subclass of inheritance so for this we use implements keyword implements keyword example so let us take class d subclass implements a right and then finally in subclass of interface we redefine so redefine means overriding same name same signature overriding of methods okay so we redefine overriding of all the abstract methods and then only subclass of interface becomes complete class and its object can be created okay so if you don't redefine abstract methods in the subclass subclass also becomes abstract class its object cannot be created right so let us try to implement this in the form of a small program so the program goes like this interface example one dot java so program to define an interface and make use of it so making use of it means we have to create a subclass for the interface right so let us take a new page first we'll write the comments and then we'll define an interface a and then we'll take one subclass b implements it's not extends interfaces are implemented and then we'll take the main class interface example one with main method public static void main string of orcs so let us save this program in our working directory save it as interface example one dot java right so an interface will take two data members int a is equals to 10 b is equals to 20 so by default they are public static final so by default data members are public static final okay and we'll take two abstract methods void m1 void m2 method no definition okay so by default they are public methods and abstract 
keyword okay is not compulsory so abstract keyword is not compulsory right so now in the subclass of the interface class b implements okay a so here we'll take int p comma q okay and then we'll take void m3 right so in m3 method will display the values of a b okay so in base class we'll take them as x y instead of a and b and in m3 method so system dot out dot println subclass of interface so interface a right so here we'll display all the required values so x value from base class it is inherited to the subclass so plus x and then we'll also display y value plus y and then we'll display its own members p value plus p and then q value plus q okay right and then we'll also redefine m1 method and m2 method so let us save the program and try to recompile we should get an error for class b saying that it is an abstract class okay right so open the command from go to your working directory compile interface example one so the error is b is not abstract does not override m1 and m2 methods of class a so compulsory we have to redefine in the subclass otherwise we have to declare that as abstract class if you declare that as abstract class we cannot create an object of subclass it is not possible okay right so public void m1 method so in interface all abstract methods are public so when they are redefined in subclass they should be public only so this is the rule for overriding it should be same privilege but not less privilege it can be higher privilege okay right so we'll say it as system dot out dot println m1 method is redefined in subclass b okay it is redefined in subclass B right so similarly we'll also take m2 method m2 method is redefined in subclass B right so now let's go to the command prompt and recompile this now we should not get any error okay because m1 and m2 methods are redefined in the subclass b okay right so let us remove this public here okay right void m1 so we'll get an error saying that okay weaker access privilege so in interface all abstract methods are public they should be defined with same privilege but not lesser privilege or weaker privilege so compulsory we have to redefine with public only right and uh, let us remove initial values for x and y for data members in an interface for this also you will get the error compile it so okay so here right we are getting assignment operator is expected so since it is a final variable it is telling us assign the value okay because it is final variable so 10 and 20 right so let us go to the main class with main method let us try to create an object of interface right save the program compile you should get the error a is abstract so actually a is interface but it is a pure abstract class so internally as per java it is a abstract class 
it cannot be instantiated new is not applicable on class a object creation then we'll just create the object of subclass and then using the object of subclass okay we'll try to access m1 method so x y are already final variables we cannot modify them we'll get the error so directly call m1 method and then obj2 dot m2 method and then obj2 dot p subclass data members 100 obj2 dot q 200 and obj2 dot m3 method okay all are accessible with the subclass object right so recompile the program and run it so java interface example one so m1 method m2 method subclass of interface a m3 method x10 y20 p and q okay right so now uh, we can also access interface data members directly with interface name or class name a dot x and then a dot y so interface name is a okay right so we should get the last two output as 10 20 right so compile and rerun so 10 20 directly with interface name or class name and then we cannot modify the values a dot x is equals to something like 11 or something like obj2 dot y is equals to 22 it is not possible to access the to mean to modify the interface data members because they are final variables so recompile we'll get the error cannot assign a value to final variable x final variable y okay so these two are not applicable so this is how we are supposed to work with interfaces so small important point here so interface data members cannot be modified it is not possible to modify the interface data members and interface data members <coughs> can be accessed directly with interface name okay reason because they are static and static content of a particular class interface is also a class can be accessed directly with class name or interface name so this is how we are supposed to work with interfaces pure abstract classes in java program right thank you for watching this video do like and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day